and welcome to Kirchi Crochet Hooks. Please enjoy our free tutorials with just one of a 24 part series on teaching you how to crochet. Subscribe to start receiving our 24 courses that are delivered to your email inbox every few days. By the time you're done, you'll know the ins and outs of crochet. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So now let's get crocheting with Curtsy. Welcome everybody to lesson number three of the Curtsy Crochet Hook program. In today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to single crochet. Check out my little Christmas stocking. I know it's great, isn't it? It's a Bernat Mosaic yarn. This is called Calypso. And it makes me look like an artist that I've changed the colors, but in actual fact, all of these colors change so slowly that it makes this look like a piece of artwork. This is all done 100% of single crochet. So it's one of those ideas that once I teach you how to single crochet, seriously, you're gonna be able to start doing some of the patterns that you could find free online. So let's head on over to the studio and I'm gonna show you how to hold your yarn once again. I'm gonna show you how to create a slip knot, we're gonna do some chaining, and then I'm gonna show you how to single crochet. Once you understand single crochet, I'm telling you the world of crochet is gonna open up right before your eyes. We're now going to begin to learning single crochet and we're going to review the chaining stitch again and how to position everything. I'm going to be using sugar and cream yarn today and when we look at the directions on the back it says it's a five millimeter hook or a USH slash eight and it's also considered a medium. So when we compare to a lot of the yarns that we've been working with, even though it looks different, it's still calling for the same. So let's position everything into our hands like we normally do. So let's begin the slip knot procedure to start your work and what we want to do is do is point again and we want to trap this into the bottom three fingers like we did on lesson number two. We want to wrap it just like so. Grabbing your index finger and your thumb clamp it back of your hand, front of your hand, back, front. So take the back over the front one and now take the new back one and put it up over your finger and now let's slip in your hook just so, like so. I'm using a five millimeter hook today by Curtsy Crochet Hooks and we just want to put it onto our hook just like so. So now let's begin the chain stitch. It's called the chain stitch. I normally just call it chaining as we begin. So let's now position the yarn into your hands. Okay, so I just automatically do it because I've been crocheting for 23 years. Hand out, pinky open, put over top, close, and circle your hand around and clamping the slip knot with your index finger and your thumb and now there's this is really sloppy here so I just want to come up underneath and pull it more snug so that it's providing tension and I've already closed my hand over here to provide this to be like a violin string so it's nice and tense. Let's position everything into our hand just like so and we just want to slip it over top so open the pinky put it down and we want to rotate our hand so that our index finger and our thumb join in on the slip knot you'll see that this is very sloppy right here so to get that fixed I'm just going to pull it backward here and so then I've closed my pinky here to provide this to be tension and now I'm going to begin to chain now in chaining, this never counts as one. This is also referred to as the chain stitch as well. So let's rotate back and toward you and down underneath. Back, down, back, down, back, down, back, down. Okay, so just around like this and go as many as you wanna go. I'm going to try to get at least 20 on there. For this tutorial and the next several tutorials ahead, I do not want you to throw out this sample. We're going to be continuing to build the sample in the next tutorials ahead. So go as long as you want to go. So if a pattern asks you to do 77 chains, just for example, you're going to do 77 and making sure that the first slip knot did not count as one. So let's, here's where we are and we're now going to start to do your single crochet. So let's get started on that next. In the chain area of crochet, there's always three lines, and you can actually see the one there, so one there, there, and there. So there's three lines per stitch. So what I want you to do when you're actually concentrating and putting in your single crochet, when you go to stick in your hook, 
you want to make sure that two of those strings end up on the top of the hook and one ends up on the bottom. So here's where we are. You just see that the stitch is coming out of there. I want you to go to this one right here and I want you to stick in your hook. Okay, so just stick it in just like so. And what you're going to see now is two of the strings on the top and one string is on the bottom. And now what I want you to do is just wrap like the rowboat like we've been doing on the chaining and grab it and you're pulling it through the stitch there and you'll end up with two on there and now just grabbing the material and pulling through two. So let's try that again. So moving along on the next stitch, okay do you see it there? It's actually right here. Here's the string coming up for that stitch which is one, there's one underneath and then that one and we want to stick it right in just like so. The chain is always more difficult to be able to stabilize it to be able to teach and show you but it does work. We've got two strings on top, one is on the bottom, grabbing like a rowboat the material through. You'll have two on your hook, grabbing it and pulling it through. Let's try it again. So the next one is right here. So the string is coming up from the last stitch over there, going in. You got two on there, one is on the bottom, pulling it through and through two. We are actually single crocheting. So the next one, through, pull through, pull through two. The next one along the line, in, pull through, pull through two. Next one, and pull through. So you see that? See how it's all kind of lining up together? Pull through. Going in, pull through, pull through two. Okay, in, pull through, pull through two. In, pull through, pull through two. In, pull through, pull through two. In. We're now coming up to the near to the other side, and I want to show you how to be able to turn around to be able to single crochet again. So we're almost done. Most of the problems with crochet people don't have straight edges and I'm going to be showing you the secrets to getting straight edges. So we actually have one stitch left. It appears that there's more than one but this is the configuration of the slip knot. We talked about that in lesson number two so that the slip knot becomes one. Okay, so there you go. That is everything in. And what I want you to do is just rotate this material in your hand just like so. And now turn it around so that we begin to work across in this direction. We're now going to start the next line up. And this is where a lot of people get confused. Okay, so in order to start a line up in single crochet, we always chain one. So just roll back, roll boat, pull through and chain. Now, usually in double crochet, we never ever go into this first stitch where the row boat chaining has just happened we always jump over but when it, in the single crochet our first stitch is right directly below and you can kind of see the variegated colors that the blue is the line below so we want to just go right into that stitch pull through pull through two okay so next stitch along is just going to go in and the stitch consists of two lines so there will be two lines just like so you see on the hook. We're just going to pull through. And it's just like the first chain that we ended up with one on the bottom and two on the top. We're doing the exact same as we work our way across. So we don't wrap anything. We're just going in, pulling through, pull through. In, pull through, pull through two. In, pull through, pull through two. Pull through. So I'm going to now speed up to regular time so you can test your knowledge. So you can go back and forth as long as you want to go. I want to make sure that you keep this sample that we're working on because all of the rest of the, the work that we're going to do with this is actually going to be built up on top of this. So we're not going to start from the chaining process again when we do half double crochet, double crochet, or triple crochet. I'm now coming up near to the end again. 
and we want to make sure that we're going to find the last one. We actually have two stitches left. Okay, so we got one and two. You see that? So a lot of people end up going into this little knob thing at the end and then they don't get a straight edge. But what you have to do is just look for it. Okay, so there you go. You got it right on the edge. We're now going to turn again. So here's what it looks like so far. Okay, so do you remember the rule? We're on the edge. In order to start single crocheting up, we chain one. We normally would jump over to the second one over when we're doing double crochet, but we're not. We're just going to go right into the bottom of where this is originating. Go right into the bottom, in, and pull through. So let's work our way back across. So in, pull through, and two. 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 Here's one of my memory hooks. So in, pull through, and two. In, pull through, and two. I just have to loosen up some string off camera here. Okay, we want no tension at all coming from our string at any point. It changes everything when you're having to fight with the yarn to put it into your project. So you want it as loosely as possible working into this hand over here. If you drop a stitch like I just did, the wonderful thing about crochet is just you can just re-pull it back out, position your hand again, and restart. So if you've noticed you've dropped a stitch at any point, you can do that. And we're going to finish up on this edge here. So you can just go considering, you can do this homework off camera, you can just go back and forth, back and forth, and we're going to stop here and move you on to lesson number four as I teach you how to half double crochet. Thank you for joining me on the Curtsy Crochet Hook program today. Now what I want you to do is I want to keep that sample that you're making. What we want to do is now build up on it for the next few tutorials. So in the next tutorial in session number four, or lesson number four I should say, we are going to do half double crochet. So I want you to keep what you're working on because now we're just going to build up and use that same example in order to show you. Then by the time you're done the next few tutorials, you're going to actually have a sample of what single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and triple crochet will all look like and you'll have it as a whole piece so that you can examine that for future use in case you want to do something more creative in the future. Until next time, we'll see you on lesson number four where we're going to do half double crochet. On behalf of Curtsy Crochet Hooks, I'm your host, Mikey.